Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video we will look at problem 38 from the code. Okay, so here is the problem statement and I want you guys to pause this video for a second. Um, try to come up with your own solution or pseudocode before we look at my solution together. So this problem, um, it has quite substantial number of bound bolts for this problem because I don't think the problem is very clear, like the instruction is not so clear. The problem itself, I don't think it is too difficult as you can see. So yeah, I actually want you guys to try this on your own first. Okay. So the strategy for this problem is basically boils down to this. If you are given this number, like so we have a, let's just call this, you know, an array of like number, let, let's, just, let's just call this S. So we are given this array and then we want to turn this into this. So what do I mean by this? So we have one, one, two, three, 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 four. So how many ones do we have here? We have two ones, right? So that's why you put two in front of one. How many two do we have here? We have only one. So we have one and two. How many threes do we see here? We see three. So we have three and three. How many fours do we see here? We only see single instance of four so that's why we have one and four basically if you know how to turn this into this then i think you can solve this problem quite easily so so here is the here is my code this is my helper function so the so we basically have so remember here the base case is one so that's why i put this one here and then n is you know given so so if we are given say n equals 5 then just don't forget that we have to have n plus 1 otherwise you know for python for i in range of 2 to n plus 1 means we are starting i will be from 2 all the way to n n itself not n plus 1 so to yeah so don't, do not forget about plus 1 here and then we will be basically you know this is our base case and then we will be running our helper function and let's look at the helper function so we have a local variable result this is an empty string and we have a count variable that is one and then basically we'll be running you know for loop and and either sort of so if you look at here initially we have one right and then we look at the next coming element that is this one so we have s of i and then we have s of i plus one if they are equal to each other then we go to the else statement so we increment our count variable by one and our count variable will be two now when i is equal to one we would we would have this one is still so this condition is only for when we are on the last index so i equals length of s minus one and then for this part s of i so s of one is that equal to s of 2 no they are not the same so we are in this if statement so we will be appending our result so we have a concatenation here we count is an integer so we turn that into a string plus s of i s of i in this case is just one so we will get two of one so two one and then we set count equal to one right count is equal to one and then we do it again now we are at i equals two and we notice that this one and then the the next one are not the same so we concatenate these two guys so in this case count is still one and then we have s of i equals two so we have a one and two here now we are on i equals three and we notice that they are the same so we move on and increment our count variable by one and then do the same thing and then when we are at here now we notice that uh, three and four they are not the same so uh, we we are in this if statement and result will be so our count is here three so we turn it into a string and then s of i in this case is this guy three so we have three three and so here is our three three here and we are at here and now notice that we are in this case right i is equal to length of s minus one so uh, count is one and then we have uh, s of i is four so we have one and four so that is that and uh, let's look at the code and see what we get okay so here is the code for this problem and 
Let's run this together. Yep, so that's for this problem. If my video helps you guys understanding this problem, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.